let's keep talking about viruses. Um, this one is one that only affects bacteria. That's why we got the word bacterio in it. And these guys sort of look like lunar landing modules. They will go ahead and infect bacteria and kill them. Um, we're hoping that in the future we can use these guys as future antibiotics. So we can go ahead and say you have this bacterial infection. We have made these viruses that we could coat on you and then it would just kill it. We already have one that we're in human trials for and it kills a bacteria called P. acnes. And P. acnes is the bacteria that causes acne. And what we're hoping is that this phage, you could put it in makeup or um, you could put it in um, uh, facial lotion. And anytime it saw that um, bacteria, it would just kill it. So people won't have um, acne. Another one that I'd love for you to know, <clears throat> really love for you to know for the exam, is um, you've probably heard of it as a vaccine called MMR, and that stands for measles, mumps, and rubella. What that vaccine does is it prevents us a couple of things. Measles, even though we don't really think of these things as super dangerous, they used to kill a lot of people in the past. Measles um, usually come with a three-day fever, an itchy rash, and coughing, runny nose, and conjunctivitis. If you have a good immune system, you'll get over it. If you have a weak immune system, which usually children and elderly do, um, they could potentially die. With mumps, they'll get painful swelling of the salivary glands, so you can see that his throat is really swollen. Fever, his, um, in males, testes will swell, and um, a rash could occur. Um, and rubella is the German measles. It's usually mild, flu-like. Um, it'll, it'll affect the trunk, so it kind of happens right near the spine. Um, if a mom has it um, while she's pregnant, it will cause birth um, defects in the child. HPV, human papilloma virus, another one that we have a um, vaccine for now. It's highly contagious. It's usually given through sexual transmission. And what happens is most of the time it's just going to give um, these types of warts in the general area. but um, it does affect um, cells and it inserts in weird places and we found that um, cervical cancer is um, one of the things that this is highly linked to and now that we have a um, vaccine for it we're trying to vaccinate all um, men and females before they get sexually active so that way we can prevent this from occurring and um, we'll see that um, uterine cancer will drop. The last thing I wanted to talk about was what is a vaccine and what are the two different types of vaccine. A vaccine is basically a virus that we've taken out the bad stuff and the bad stuff is the stuff that makes it sort of attack you and do all the bad things, you know, the, the viral stuff. And we take it and we can treat it two different ways by keeping it alive or killing it and then giving it to your body. And your body gets to feel the outside of it and see what it is. And that way, next time you ever see it again, it could beat it up and have a defense plan. So it's kind of like practice. You know, the first time you practice for a baseball game, you know, you set up and you toss the ball around, you practice catch. So that way, when you actually do play the game, you, you're going to be good at it. And that's what vaccines are. There's two types. There is a live vaccine. So this is going to be a, vi a virus that is alive. We've just genetically altered it so it can't infect you or cause you all the issues. These are the vaccines that you only really need once in your life. So um, you, the cool thing about it, the, the advantage is it's one dose. It's a quick immune response. It's pretty strong and um, you don't have too many reactions. The disadvantage is that it potentially could revert to its bad form. We haven't had this, but we do have to be conscious about it, so we keep treating for it. 
um, can do viral shedding. What happens is how this takes over is that it just makes more and more and more viruses. It's not in practice, recommended for pregnant humans or animals because it could infect the baby in deleterious ways, the embryo. And improper handling could kill it. So we could think that it's a normal vaccine, but um, it could die and then cause the person that gets it will think that they're immune, but they're not. The other type is the killed vaccines. Killed vaccines are viruses that we've grown in high numbers, killed them, so they're no longer doing what they need to do. And um, what the advantage is, they're safer because they can't get you sick. There's no possible way that it can revert back to its contagious side. Um, it's fine for pregnant people and animals. It's stable to storage, so there's no probability that the doctor's office will mishandle it and cause it not to work. The disadvantage is, sadly, these are the ones that you need multiple shots of. So if you need two or three or four treatments of them, it's going to be a killed vaccine that you're getting. It's a weaker immune response, so it's not going to be as strong. It, the virus could still take hold and give you some issues. It's a shorter duration, and it's um, something that you'll have to repeat shots over and over again for your life. And um, some people are sensitive to this. Great.